Looking for a unique pattern using square knots? I've got just the pattern for you. Nicole here and welcome to my creative corner on bochi.macrame and just like the name indicates this channel is all about macrame from DIY pattern tutorials to helpful tips and tricks videos so if you guys are interested in learning more macrame then click that subscribe button and then also give this video a big thumbs up in this video I'm going over a unique square knot pattern I call it the square knot braid because we borrow adjacent cords to fuse Use two columns of square knots together so essentially that is what a braid is so that is why I call it a square knot braid. This pattern can be used as a senate so you continue making rows below and have it as long as you want or you can expand on the width on it by adding square knot columns and then weaving them together the same way. If you're fascinated by unique knots and beautiful patterns then this video is just right for you. For more beginner friendly macrame resources you can head on over to bojinak.com for a free downloadable 50 knots and set as ebook, two for one premium cord deal, and much more. And with all of that said, let's get right into it. To practice this knot pattern, I've used four strands of cord at 200 centimeters long each. And to save the amount of cord you use for this pattern, instead of having equal cord lengths, so folding the cords in half, what I've done is I've measured the cords to 20 centimeters in length on one end, folded that part up, and then placed the shorter sides in the center. So as you can see here, we have a long strand of cord, two shorter strands of cord, two longer strands of cord, two shorter strands, and then one longer strand on the right side. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've used two colored cords. You can use one solid color cord all the way through, or you can use four different colors. That is totally up to you. To start the pattern, we're going to work with the left four cords. The outer left and right cords are the working cords, hence they are longer than the middle two cords, and we're going to make a square knot. Then with the right four chords, we're also going to make another square knot. But this time we're going to make a right facing square knot. So opposite facing of what we made on the left side. We made a left facing square knot on the left side and now we're making a right facing square knot on the right side. If you want to check if you did it right, the loop side of the square knot should be facing the outer edge of the pattern. To start our second row of square knots, what we're going to do is use the far left cord as the working cord as usual, then borrow the left cord from the right square knot on the right side, and then use that to make a left facing square knot. So for this pattern on the left column, we're always making left facing square knots, and on the right column, we're always making right facing square knots. Now on the right side, we're going to borrow that right cord from the left square knot above, and we're going to use it as the working cord for the right facing square knot on the right side. Now all you have to do is continue repeating this pattern below. So starting on the left side again, take the far left cord as the working cord, borrow the cord from the square knot adjacent to it on the right, and make another left facing square knot.
Now repeat the same thing on the right side. By borrowing the working cords from the adjacent sections, we are weaving these two square knot columns together. Continue repeating this pattern several more times below. Once you have completed several rows of these, this is what the pattern should look like. And you have now successfully created the square knot braid pattern. I hope this tutorial inspired some creativity into your own macrame designs. If you guys enjoy unique knot pattern tutorials just like this, make sure you let me know in the comment section below and then also give this video a big thumbs up. Macrame is such a versatile art form, so definitely experiment with color, with textures, and with knots. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow along with more tutorials just like this. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.